On behalf of Secretary Liu and Deputy Secretary Rowland, welcome to the unveiling of the design of the Raoul Wallenberg Congressional Gold Medal. It is now my honor to introduce to you the House sponsor of the legislation authorizing the U.S. Mint to design and produce the Raoul Wallenberg Congressional Gold Medal, Congressman Gregory Meeks. And I would be remiss if I did not first and foremost acknowledge the role of the Raoul Wallenberg Centennial Celebration Commission, whose chairman is with us today, Peter. Peter's leadership was crucial in reaching this moment as the commission spearheaded it, and indeed was the driving force of the passage of the legislation to award Raoul Wallenberg with a congressional gold medal. His father-in-law was saved directly by Wallenberg by receiving a shoots pass, and Peter's commitment to the gold medal is evident by the inclusion of the coins tax. He lives on forever by those he saved. Peter, I thank you deeply for your commitment. And I'm especially pleased that you are joined today by your wife, Debbie, Debbie and your granddaughter, Jacqueline Haas. The Wallenberg Commission was established by Ezra Freelander, the CEO of the Freelander Group, whose grandfather was saved by Wallenberg when he too received refuge in the Schultz House. The late Ribby carried on the Liska Hasidic from Hungary to the United States, and he passed away at a far too young age, 52. But he heard the stories as a child from his grandmother and how his grandfather was saved by this great man. And I want to thank you because it is with the information and the honor that you gave me that I was able to learn more about this great man and take the story of Raoul Wallenberg all across of New York and to teach my young daughters of the great heroics. And now it's a distinct honor and pleasure to bring to you Secretary Jack Lewis. Congressional Gold Medal is one of our nation's highest civilian awards. It's bestowed on individuals who've made a lasting impact on American history and culture. Only 31 foreign citizens have been recognized in this way. It is fitting that we are gathered here at the Treasury Department, just two floors below the very rooms in which the War Refugee Board was established, to pay tribute to Raoul Wallenberg, a man who chose not to be indifferent to the suffering around him, who put his own career and life at risk to arrange for the rescue of people he did not know, and whose legacy of courage and self-sacrifice touched not just the men and women that he was able to help, but also future generations. As the words on this medal make clear, Raoul Wallenberg was a hero of heroes. He was one person who made a difference. He lives on forever in those he saved and in the example that he set for all of us. And may his memory forever be bound up in the lives of the living. Thank you. Your Majesty, I welcome you to join me as we unveil the design. We are all proud of Raoul Wallenberg's legacy because therein lies the lessons for generations to come. It is therefore an honor for the Queen and me to be here today as we are gathered to take part in the unveiling of the Congressional Gold Medal. Thank you very much. Was up and get out of there. Who saved me? And this was this. Was, I grew up with this. I grew up with this. It was, it was like Denise. And, and, and I looked at the calendar and I said, Wait a minute. What? Well, well, centennial is coming up well, this year. What can we do to remind the world and not to forget? Let me see you. Her father and mother were both from Hungary. Her mother was in Auschwitz for a year. And her father. 
father was married with five children, a wife and children got killed, and he was saved in a, he was in a labor camp, was able to get away, and was saved in one of the Schutz Schindler saved 2,200, and you see what they made about him. Wow, it's all a mess. This is, this is Rabbi Joseph Stamm of New York. He's also a member of our commission. That's the, that's the idea, because he didn't have to do it, and he did it. No reason for him to do this. And then, one kind of thing is, not to do anything, but you know what?